Hello, we are on the Real Programming channel, it's about HTML and CSS. My name is Andrei. This is our 49th lesson. I greet you. We will talk about getting the long style into the Alex series and directions page. Let's go. So it's great that we've added uh, all this style to long HTML, but what about Alexir HTML and Directions HTML? They need to have a look that is uh, consistent with the main page, easy enough. Just copy the style element and all the rules into each file, right? Not so fast. If you did that when, whenever you needed to change the style of the site, you'd have to change every single file, not what you want. But luckily, there is a better way. Here is what you are going to do. Take the rules and long HTML and place them in a file called long CSS. Create an external link to this file from your long HTML file. Create the same external links in Elixir HTML and Directions HTML. Give all three files a good test drive. Create the long CSS file. You are going to create a file called long CSS to contain the style rules for all your head first long pages. To do that, create a new text file named long CSS in your text editor. Create a long CSS. In the long folder, the root folder, we often call CSS file style sheets. No tab uh, copy and paste from your long HTML file the CSS rules into the long CSS file. Delete the rules from your long HTML file while you're at it. Not that you should not copy the style and the style uh, slash text because the long CSS file contains only CSS, not HTML. This is your long CSS file. Should look like this. Remember, no style text. Linking from long HTML to the external style sheet. This is. And now we need a way to tell the browser that it should style this page with the style in the external style sheet. We can do that with the HTML link element. Here's how you use the link element in your HTML. Here is the HTML that links to the external style sheet. You don't need the style element anymore, just delete it. The rest of the HTML is the same. HTML up close exercise. Let's take a closer look at the link element. And uh, since you haven't seen it before, use the link element to link in external information. The type of this information is text slash CSS in uh, other words. It's a CSS style sheet. LC of HTML5 you don't need uh, this anymore, it's optional, but you may see it in order uh, older pages. And the style sheet is located at this scrap in this case, we're using a related link, but it could be a full-blown URL. The URL attribute specifies the relationship between the HTML file and the thing you're linking to. We're linking to a style sheet, so we use the value style sheet. Link is a void element, it has a closing tag. Link from Elixir HTML and Directions HTML. And um, <clears throat> now you are going to link uh, the Elixir HTML and Directions HTML file just as you did with long HTML. The only thing you need to remember is uh, that Elixir HTML is in the beverages folder and the Directions HTML is in uh, the about folder, so they both need to use the related paths. To point uh, slash long CSS. So all you need to do is add the following link element to both files. This is Alexir HTML. Just add the link line. If you have uh, this and uh, some same for direction HTML, add the link line here. Test driving the entry alone. Save each of these files and uh, then open long HTML with the browser. You should uh, uh, see no changes in the style, even though the style are now coming from an external file. Now click on the Alexis and the detailed directions links. Whoa, we have a whole new style for the Alexis and directions pages with only a one line change to the HTML and each file. Now you can really see the power of CSS. 5 minute master is solid. 
the case of brute force versus style. So, how did Red Web Design become web pages superheroes? Or maybe we should first ask how the don't know wrong correct web design firm flubbed things up this time. The root of the problem was that Correct Web Design was created in the Robot Trust pages using CIRSA 1998 Technicus. They were putting their style rules right in the, with their HTML copying and busting them each time. And uh, even worse, they were using a lot of old HTML elements like font and center that have now been uh, deprecated the uh, eliminated from HTML. So when the call came to change the look and feel, uh, that meant going into every web page and making changes to the CSS. Worse, it meant going through the HTML to change elements as well. Compare that with that uh, Red Web Design did they use HTML5. So they had no old presentation HTML and their pages and they used an external style sheets. The result? To change the style of the entire site, all they had to do was go into their external style sheet and make a few changes so that CSS, which they easily did in minutes, not days. They even had time to try out multiply designs and have three different versions of the CSS ready for you before the site launch. Amazing, the robots rules is SEO not only promised Red Web Design more business, but he also promised them the first robot that comes off the assembly line. Next exercise. Now that you got one external style file or style sheet, use it to change all the paragraph fonts to send serif to match the headings. Remember, the property to change the font style is font family and the value for sans serif font is sans serif. You'll find the answer on the next page. The headings use uh, sans serif fonts which don't have serif and have a very clean look. The paragraphs still use the default serif fonts which have serifs and are often considered more difficult to read on the computer screen. It's a serif. And solution uh, exercise. So now I will show you on Sublimite text solution. Of... Now, so this is our solution. And now that you got oh, only one external style file or style sheet, use it to change all the paragraph fonts to send serif to match the headings. Remember, the property to change the font style is font family and the value for sans serif font is sans serif, here is our solution. Just add the font family property to your paragraph rule in the long CSS file. I am wondering if that is really the best solution. Why are we specifying the font family for each element? What if someone added and block worded to the page would we have to then add the rule for the two? Can't we just tell the whole page to be sensory? It's time to talk about your inheritance. Did you notice when you added the font family property to your P selector that is uh, also affected the font family of the elements inside the P element? Let's take a closer look. When you added the font family property to your CSS P selector, it changed the font family of your P elements. But it also changed the font family of the two links and the phased text. The elements inside the P element inherit the font family style from P. Now every style is inherited just somewhere like font family. Just like you can inherit your blue eyes or brown hair from your parents, elements can inherit styles from their parents. In this case, the A and M element inherited the font family style from the P element, which is their parent element. It makes sense that changing your paragraph style would change the style of the elements in the paragraph. Doesn't it? After all, if it didn't, you would have to go in and add the CSS rules for, for every online element in every paragraph in your whole site, which would definitely be so not fun. Not to mention our grown, tedious and time-consuming. Let's take a look at the HTML3 to see how inheritance works. 
if we set the font family of all the p elements here are all the elements uh, that would be affected the p elements of course would be started with the font family the image element is a ch child of the paragraph but it doesn't have any text so it's not affected the a m and a elements in the two paragraphs inherit the font family from their parent elements, the P elements. So, what if we move the font up the family tree? We will talk about this in the next lesson. And this concludes our lesson 49. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel, please. Put likes, share with friends, comment, eat bananas, chocolate and nuts, drink more water for the factory work of our brains. Bye.